The opinions expressed in this show are the views of the host and not necessarily that of WTRW, 94.3 The Talker, or the Bold Gold Media Group. The following presentation is brought to you by the host of the program who is solely responsible for its content. Good afternoon. Welcome to Make a Change. I'm your host, Terry Martin, along with my producer, Tom Jenkins. Good afternoon, Terry. How are you? Good, Tom. We have a wonderful show planned today. Uh, you know, Very I'm, exciting. I'm going to jump in immediately right here. I was out in the lobby with Mario before we came into the studio, and I was just, just talking a little bit with him. You know what I like most about Mario already? What? He laughs at all my stupid jokes. <laughs> so I, I, I like him already. <laughs> Okay, well, we want to welcome Mario, and uh, he is a team beach body coach. Mm -hmm. And I w would like to begin telling you how I met Mario to start with. I was in a grocery store, it was in the health food section, and I saw Mario there getting bulk food, and I, I just went over, you know, being the kind of mom that I am, I went over and I said, you know, maybe you should double bag that because by the time you get to the front, these bags are so cheap, it, they're, they're just going to rip and these seeds or nuts will be all over the floor. And then I walked away and I turned around and I looked at him again and I thought, wow, here's a young gentleman, a nice looking young man, caring about how he looks at this young of an age. So I started talking to him again and told him exactly what I just said. And then let's let Mario pick up from there. <laughs> what did you tell me that you got me so excited I had to have you on the show? Well, first of all, Mario, thank you for being on the show. We oh, yes. definitely appreciate you taking time on the, on your weekend to come up here and and uh, and sit here and talk about this. And I, I can't wait to hear this. Cause Terry gave me notes, but I didn't read them. <laughs> so I want to hear this firsthand. So yeah, uh, thank you very much for having me here today, too. Um, and yeah, and I, and I for some reason, it just it just came out of me. I said. Yeah, you know, I've been eating healthy for the last couple of years, and, and I lost 120 pounds. And Wait, I just, how much? 120 pounds. Holy smokes. Isn't he unbelievable? <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, so, and uh, and so she was she was amazed, and we just started talking, um, you know, about how I did it and, and whatnot, and we just, you know, we had a good conversation about health and nutrition and, and uh so that's how we how we met. So then, you know, um, could you tell us more about how you did it? Because you said there was an exercise program you did along with health. And maybe uh, you would like to go into detail. Uh, I, I don't really know where you want to begin because the whole story is just so exciting. But uh, how about this? When you felt you just really needed to do something about your life, why? Let's go into that. What got so drastic that you knew? Yeah, why did um, you make that choice? I, I got to the point where, um, like, o over the years, I, I from when I graduated high school, um, I was in great shape. You know, I, I watched what I ate. I exercised every day. And as soon as I went to college, that's when things changed. I went away, and I started you know, partying Party and, time. and and drinking and, and eating all kind of nasty foods. I would go, we would go to like um, Sheets uh, and get like all the, you know, the greasy food, all the, you know, anything, anything that was bad I wanted. And Give us an example of when you, when you went to Sheets, because that really made me see how bad <laughs> you can be. Yeah. What would you eat? You said you had to order, you'd order it special like you can and you'd put. Oh yeah, I would go and they have the, the they call it the MTO, the made to order. Mm -hmm. So I would go there and I would get like meatball parms or, or whatever they, like chicken, cheese steak, anything nasty on, you know, and with cheese and, and French fries and, and just all the greasy food and have a big thing of, you know, 24 ounce thing of soda, mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, and that's, that's just what I, and, it, and, and what's funny is it kind of, I got comfort from, from food, you know, mm -hmm. being away from my family and things, it was just a different, you know, change of life and stuff. And, mm -hmm. and I just, I actually found comfort in, in food. So um, was it your first semester or your first year that you gained 30 pounds 
And how quick did you gain that 30 pounds yeah, to I start was, with? It was actually my first, my very first semester, I gained, I gained 30 pounds. Wow. And they say it's the freshman 15. Well, I doubled that in half the time. <laughs> <laughs> you go all out, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. And, and though the, your weight, tell us if you could, what did you get up to? And, I, and what period of time did that happen? It was o- over the course of, I would say, I would say a year and a half. I got up to um, 280 pounds. Um, that was the heaviest, heaviest I ever was um, in my life. And um, so it got me to the point where I, I remember a Sunday night. I was I was working as a carpenter at the time, and it was a Sunday night, and I cried myself to sleep. Mm-hmm. And uh, because I was just, because Monday, you know, started a new week and I had a whole new week of just, you know, being uncomfortable with myself. Like, I just, I couldn't look at myself in the mirror. Like, um, like I wore hoodies in, in the summertime just to cover myself up. I wouldn't, I didn't swim for years because I just, I was so embarrassed. And I, and then I, you know, my, it was almost like, my thoughts that I, I vividly remember that night, like crying myself to sleep. But before, I always re- remember the desire, like I, if I didn't wake up the next morning, I didn't care. You know, mm-hmm. it got to that point. I was just so, I just, it was just so, I was so disgusted with myself. I was so uncomfortable. And it, it was like, it was like I was in quicksand. And I just, it kept, everything I tried to do, I kept sinking. I kept sinking. It just, and it was, it was, it was horrible. I just, I, so. You know, you even told me how you couldn't very easily even get that carpenter belt on and how hard work was for you. Oh yeah. Like, um, I could you know, I had to get the double XL belt and, you know, a special belt and, and trying to work with tools on and you're lifting stuff it was just it was hard and i'm thinking i'm a young person i this this no one should uh go through this but tell us what you were doing at your break how much did you eat on your break alone oh i would um well i smoked a pack of cigarettes a day um (laughs) so i I definitely smoke and i would um I I used to love these, the tandy cakes, the or the tasty cake things. They're they're peanut butter. I mean, they're, mm. I, they're awesome. <laughs> Almost like the Gertrude Hawks uh, peanut butter smidgens. They're like, oh my god. <laughs> so um, so yeah, I would eat you know all the nasty food and and. But you said cor- what? What did you say? Or did you already say that six you would eat even at one time? Oh yeah, I would eat because there's three in a pack. I'd buy oh. two. I'd oh, okay. make sure I get make get two for the day, and I'd get a big thing of Mountain Dew and drink soda all day. I don't think I, <laughs> looking back, I don't think I drank much water mm-hmm. at all. And I'm like, oh my God, that's bad, you know? Mm-hmm. And uh, so, yeah, I would just, you know, smoke cigarettes and, and eat nasty food. And, you know, I used to love like the chocolate pop tarts. I'd eat four of them, or, you know, at lunchtime with a big pepperoni sandwich with a bunch of cheese and white bread and just anything that tasted good and was bad for you I liked you and, know and then how about after work what after, you used oh, to do or after school after work I would I would go um my friends owned a, a pizza shop and so every day after work I'd get off the exit from work and I'd go right right to the pizza shop because I could sit in there I could smoke and I would, it was just every single night I would get, of course, I'd be drinking, you know, regular soda and I'd get, love the meatball Parmesan hoagies and I'd get cheese fries with gravy and just, uh, just a nasty food. And it, it, used to, it, like, it made me feel disgusting, but I just, you know, you just, it was like a habit. I just did it. It, it was just every well, single day. It, it sounds, you said something early on in the conversation that you found comfort in food. And, um, and and I have heard other people say that food really was never their problem. Food was their solution to the problem. And the problem was an internal problem that they had, uncomfortability, anxiety, whatever it might be. This is what it sounds like on your end. And what happened was you turned to the food for the solution to make you feel better. And it backfired on you. It's, it, the shine wore off. Yes. And it got out of control. Yes. Yeah. 
And what happened when you went to the doctors the first time that it was brought to your attention? What's going on that you're gaining this kind of weight? He, um, the, the doctor told me, you, you know, you, you gain weight really fast, so, you know, you need to, to, um, to do something about it. Because you had just had, before that, your exam to get into college, right? Yes. Is that how it was? So yep. what was that period of time when you saw the doctor when, and, and you didn't take it serious? That was, um, it was after the first semester. I, I had to go in and get, just get a, I forget, I think I was sick or something like that. Or, and, and they, you know, how they weigh in. They're like, you, you know, you're just had a semester at school and you put on 30 pounds. What's, what's going on? I know, you know, kids gain weight when they go away to school, you know, some weight. And, but you put on a lot. And, I, you know, and I just, and he told me to start watching and exercising. And I just, Speaking of watching, you told me how you were losing sight in one of your eyes. You want to tell us that story too? Oh yes, um, yeah. When I was when I was sixteen, I went to go get um, my driving permit, and um, you know you have. To, I, I I before that I was losing vision in my left eye, and I never said nothing because I was scared, mm -hmm. which was stupid. Um, <laughs> And so my mom took me to get my my driving the permit, and you have to take a reading test before you could go and do the computer test. And I couldn't read out of my left eye at all. Hmm. I couldn't even see the E. It was complete blurry. It was like my vision was three hundred twenty. Wow! It was bad. So after an MRI um, and everything, because I knew something was wrong. Um, I had a I had a pituitary gland tumor. They found a massive pressing against my optic nerve. That's why my sight started to go. Um, so then we 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 went to Philadelphia because um, of the specialist down there. We went to the Children's Hospital down there, and um, they were either going to do surgery, radiation, or medicine. And thankfully, they they did medicine. Um, and I was on the medicine for a while, and it helped my. It actually shrunk, you know, it started shrinking the tumor. It was, it was benign; it was non non cancerous. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I got my vision back. Everything, my sight right now is perfect. The vision actually came back, so, um, which is great. And um, so, but after a while, after a few years, um, it got to the point where my levels were still up and it kind of you know they took medicine that was at the highest dose and it, it wasn't really you know working Doing anymore. It anymore for you and so they decided to do surgery so um so i we down in philadelphia we did the surgery um and so after that it, you know like everything was but good. you even had to go through radiation yeah i had to go after a few years and that actually when i got radiation was at my that was when I was at my peak um my peak weight mm -hmm. and um yeah so that finally now thankfully every everything's good everything's gone so it's it's all good but well hold that thought when we come back we're going to talk more about this and, and what direction your life went we got to take a quick break you're listening to Make a Change, a show all about, well, making a change internally, externally, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, however you need to. Your host, Terry Martin, is here. I am Tom Jenkins with our special guest, Mario Johns. Johns. Mario Johns. And a fascinating story. And we will definitely get back to that in just a little bit on 94.3 FM, The Talker. We'll be right back. Madari Clinicals, a unique skincare company, has a complete skincare line for men and women. From anti-aging to glycolic and even a clinical line for sensitive skin, Madari Clinicals is for you. Their number one product? Forgiveness. It's the secret to younger looking and younger acting skin. You can experience the transformation with fewer wrinkles, firmer skin, and a more youthful radiant complexion. Treat aging, sun damage, rosacea, and more with forgiveness. Plus, buy one bottle of forgiveness, get one lip enhancing complex for free. Forgiveness. Apply it morning and night and keep forgiving and forgetting all through the day. Make a change with Madari Clinicals. Balance, restore, look, and feel new. Madari Clinicals, a complete skincare company for men and women. 
Call 866-646-3374 or check out MaderiClinicals.com. M-E-D-E-R-I Clinicals.com. Welcome back to Make a Change on 94.3 FM, The Talker. Terry Martin is your host. I am Tom Jenkins. And we're in studio today with a very special guest, Mario Johns. And Mario, in the last segment, was telling us all about what was happening in his life uh, around college and work time. And, and he put on so much weight. Um, he was practically blind in one eye. He ended up having to have surgery and, and uh, radiation. And um, you had said something, Mario, that... that st- I, I can't even describe how it made me feel, but you said there were times where you'd go to bed at night and not even care if you woke up in the morning. Yeah, there was, um, there was, a, it, for, for a short time there, I, I, you know, towards the end where I, I decided I needed to change. It was, I would go, I just, I wouldn't care if I woke up the next day. It just my desire to, to, to get up. It was just because I knew the next day was going to be just a miserable, you know, I, I just, I, I don't think like looking back at the photos that I could find, I couldn't find many cause I wouldn't get in front of a camera. Mm-hmm. Um, no smile. I, I never smiled. I was never happy. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking, what, well, what kind of life is this? I, I look at, I have, you know, I'm looking 50 years down the road. I got to live like this. I don't, I, I wouldn't care if something happened. Like that's how I thought, you know? Mm-hmm. And it was it was horrible. So, um, what was finally the turning point? Um, the turning point for me was was like I said when I that that night when I cried myself to sleep. I remember the next day something was different. I I said okay. I got home from work, and my my dad actually was doing this this workout program. Right, it's called P ninety X. And it's a pretty popular program, and and I I was watching the results he was getting, and I'm like, oh my god, you know, I knew I saw other people that did it before, and I knew, you know, I kind of I don't know if this will work for me, and and I just kept watching him, and as and then when he was done, the results he got was amazing, so I'm like. So that that next day it was I think it was a Monday after after work. I remember sitting in my chair, and I go, okay, it, it's time it's time to really you know be serious about this because I'm going on a path where I, it just doesn't look good. You know, I I you know I could have all kind of medical problems that I brought on to myself, and and. Um, so I, I was sitting in the chair and I decided, uh, I said, well, okay, now, now you're, you're a young guy um, and you're crying yourself to sleep. You can't even look at yourself in the mirror and um, you're completely disgusted with yourself. So it, it was at that point where I, I, I knew I just, I had to make a change. You have me crying almost in here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Sorry. No, um, <laughs> it's amazing. But um, so as I was sitting in the chair, I'm going, I'm thinking, okay, so now now it's time to to get serious, and and I said to myself, okay, I could do this program, you know. Because I always thought I couldn't, and I, you know, all kind of excuses too hard for me. But I just seeing the results my dad got, I'm like. If I commit myself 100%. Ooh, that terrible word. Com- <laughs> Hard to do. Commit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a man thing. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, if, if I could commit 100% to the just 90 days of this program, like no matter what, like no excuses, nothing. If I can do, I know... The results gonna be better, so if, cause the, like the ninety days is coming, it's it's coming. So I'm either gonna do it and look back and say, "Gee, I'm glad I did," or not do it and say, "Darn, I wish I had." Mm-hmm. So it was like I I just knew the outcome was gonna be good because like my and my father just seeing the results my dad got, I was I was like, "This works." I I had you know. And Not that he's old, but if he could do it at his age, yeah, you could do that. But still, that step of commitment 
you thought that your whole this whole time but you know to finally be able to do that well I'll let you go on was your was your dad a big guy no he he was always in he was always in you know decent shape and you know he was a former marine and and he always took care of himself but I I think you know he let himself go a little bit okay maybe a little bit and he and it's funny I, um he saw the P90X infomercial at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> That's when most people order it. Right. And um, he said, "I'm I'm doing." I remember he called me the next day. Say, "I'm doing that P90X." I'm like, "What?" He goes, "Yeah, I ordered it last night at two o'clock in the morning." I'm like, "You're crazy. You're going to be one of those people." Yeah. Okay. You know. And um, so because eighty three percent that order it off of TV don't do it, you said right? So yeah, they, they have a statistics or yeah, something like a- that. Eighty three percent of the people that that start it don't finish it, and it's usually day three is a day that most people quit. And your dad thought you wouldn't do it either. Yeah, yeah because he, you could tell us that story, that part of it. Yeah, he um so 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 I so I knew I would have to you know commit to these these 90 days like and i would have to change everything i would have to change the way i eat you know i'd have to start shopping and 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 eat you know vegetables and stuff and all you know change the whole whole game of because of, it's not just exercise then you no it's it's definitely the food is they they say it's 80 percent nutrition and 20 percent exercise and it's so true the food is so crucial in it um, garbage in, garbage out. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. You can't exercise a poor diet, you know. So, um, mm, so, good. so I, I, I knew if I, if I committed, that I, I, I know the outcome would have been great. But I, I like I used to go to the gym before that, trying to, and and it, you know, I'd go and I, I'd stop. I'd join for a year and go to three weeks, and then let the year membership go. Mm-hmm. You know, it just, I just kept doing that. And I've done that. Right, <laughs> and a couple I, times, <laughs> and I, I, I was like the January uh, thing I always did every year. You know, I just, and um, so I, 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 um, I ordered, I ordered the P ninety X. It was one hundred and twenty dollars, and and uh, but I, but I said to myself when I was sitting in the chair at that time, thinking about why I'm, I'm gonna do this is. I, I have to I have to do it with no excuses. I almost had like a I had like a shield around my head of of fears and doubts and and excuses. It was like I because once that gets in your head that stuff, then you kind of listen to your excuses and you're like, "Yeah, I can't do this or I can't." Mm-hmm. And I just I made it up in my mind. Like I just I made it up that it will be. I will. I will do this no matter what. And I. But was, how did you stay so strong through it when people quit at three days? And how do you do this? I um. My the reason my my why was so powerful. That's what held me through. Is it Your mind. was. It was um. Because. I just didn't want to live like the way I lived. I just didn't like m- my life the way it was. It was just it. It's like I just had. I was at that point where I just needed. I needed a change. I needed. So when a there was something really tempting, what did you do? Um, just like if if I was going to a a, a party or something mm-hmm. like that where I knew there would be food, or I would uh, I I would make sure I ate something before I went. I never ever went to a party hungry, never ever because I know the temptation is going to be there. And if you go if you go hungry, you're going to eat. You know, so that's that's how I kept myself um, because there are certain you got to eat certain foods and you know certain meals and stuff. So, so I really watched uh, watched that. I, well, how long did it take when you started that? I remember you saying <laughs> you didn't even want to spend the one hundred and twenty dollars. What a small price to pay, isn't it? It is. And it we is. we get. We, okay, we all, we get kind of cheap over spending money and saying, oh, this gimmick, I won't buy that. And you said you had a hard time spending it to, yeah. even, to even do it. Yeah, I, um, I, I didn't want to spend the money. I, I thought there, that that's, you know, I figured I could go and join a gym for 20 bucks a month or 10 bucks a month or something. And, or even think you would do it at home. And just think, yeah, I think uh, I could uh, do without it. Without help. Yeah, 
yeah. You think this was just one of those delusional excuses you were telling yourself? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. And um, so I knew it was it was an investment because you know I didn't have one hundred twenty dollars laying around, but uh, but you, you were know. spending it in that fast food. Yeah, you, were, I was, I was spending you probably it. saw a big difference once you changed your life. Absolutely. So now you're sitting there and you get this thought, and I'm going to buckle down, I'm going to do this, and you order it. And then you and you had said earlier, then I, then I thought I had, okay, I've got to change the way I eat. I've got to change everything. What kind of thoughts were going through your head? What kind of fears were you feeling knowing that within a day or so, your life was going to turn 180 degrees because you had said it and, and, and I've lived it myself, not with weight loss, but with other things. Fear prevents me from doing things I want to do, but fear also makes me do things I don't want to do. And I think that the fear is the big one, fear of the unknown or whatever the case may be of why we only go to the gym for three months, why we only stop at the third day on the P90X. Mm -hmm. What were some of those fears that you were you were experiencing? What were those, some of those thoughts and feelings that you had and how did you get through them? Um, I, you know, as I as I started, I I I want I wanted to quit. I, I definitely wanted to quit. And um, and what what helped me um, was was my my father. I work. I mean, my dad. I was I was laid off as a carpenter at the time when I first started P ninety X, and I was working with him. We we have a dumpster company, and. Uh, so he knew I was, you know, I told him I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And uh, he goes, you know, I don't know anybody else who've, who's completed it. He goes, I know a lot of people who have it and, you know, did it for a couple of weeks or didn't, didn't completely do it. He goes, I said, well, I'm going to, I'm going to be the first person, you know, that, that completed that. So that was a little thing that helped me. But um, he was kind of like my, my motivator because every day I'd go into work and he, he'd always ask me. He held you accountable. He held me accountable. He, he was like my accountability. And um, I'm like, you know, every day I had to make sure, because I'm like, I don't want to go into work and him going, <laughs> you didn't do a lot. You know, so <laughs> I was like worried, you know. So sure. he really he really helped me every single day and and really made sure I, I was doing what I was supposed to do. He helped you with the diet and the food and all of that stuff too? Yeah, he, he helped me like, the stuff he was he he was eating when he was doing it and and different foods and different meals and recipes and how to you know how to make certain stuff and so it was really cool he was really there for, you know my my accountability so you know talking about the health issues too though you wanted to mention on the break you said something about hyperthyroidism you wanted to say something about that oh yes that was oh yes that was um that was one of my excuses my my whole life ever since I found out I had that because hypothyroidism it's hard for people to lose weight or they gain weight from it and so from that was one of the things I got from my my tumor it, I had hypothyroidism and um so that that was my that was my excuse for a lot of things you know I used that Oh, I used to I I used to tell my friends, yeah, yeah, you know, I I would go exercise, but I know it's you know I can't because I know I'm not going to be able to lose weight. The doctor said, you know, you have this, and I just you know I know I can't lose weight, and so I'm I'm just you know I'm not going to do anything, and and I I use that as an excuse for for a long time, and um, so that, so that was one of those excuses that it had to just break free. But did fear set in thinking that maybe you shouldn't because you thought you were sick? And like, is that something that controlled your mind maybe to not even begin exercising? You were almost afraid to go against yeah, yourself I, for that? Yeah, I was, I was, I think the biggest fear was, um, was, was giving up and, and then the 90 days came and I didn't do it. And I, w I would have been, I would have been mortified because I know, because you know, like that that time's gonna come. So either you're gonna do it or, or you're not. You know, so that that was that was the biggest fear is is, is quitting. 
We're here in the studio with Make a Change with Terry Martin, your host. I'm Tom Jenkins. Mario Johns is here telling a phenomenal story, uh, not just about the physical aspect of weight loss, but the mental and emotional aspects behind it, too. And that's the stuff that's grabbing a hold of me right now. And I can't wait to hear what has happened. You ha- I wish this wasn't radio. you got to see this, dude. I mean, you would never imagine what you're hearing is it happened to Mario. So stick around. If you've got any questions for Terry, of course, at any time about Madari Clinicals, give her a call at 866 866- 646-3374 or check out MadariClinicals.com and we'll be right back on 94.3 FM The Talker. Madari Clinicals, a unique skincare company, has a complete skincare line for men and women. From anti-aging to glycolic and even a clinical line for sensitive skin, Madari Clinicals is for you. Their number one product? Forgiveness. It's the secret to younger looking and younger acting skin. You can experience the transformation with fewer wrinkles, firmer skin, and a more youthful, radiant complexion. Treat aging, sun damage, rosacea, and more with forgiveness. Plus, buy one bottle of forgiveness, get one lip-enhancing complex for free. Forgiveness. Apply it morning and night and keep forgiving and forgetting all through the day. Make a change with Madari Clinicals. Balance. Restore. Look and feel new. Madari Clinicals, a complete skincare company for men and women. Call 866-646-3374 or check out MadariClinicals.com. M-E-D-E-R-I Clinicals.com. And we're back on Make a Change on 94.3 FM The Talker with your host, Terry Martin. My name is Tom Jenkins. In the studio with us today, Mario Jones with one hell of a story. Mm-hmm. Um you know, we were talking during the break. You know, Mario went from a, a very overweight gentleman who uh, who was just sick and tired of everything. He was sick and tired of being sick and tired. Uh, wasn't eating right. Wasn't exercising. Uh, cried himself to sleep many nights. And he didn't even like people anymore. Uh, yeah, did, just wanted to be a, a recluse and, and just a hermit, if you will. <laughs> and um, he found a solution. But I, I wanted to, I want to ask you, I'm going to give you a loaded question here, Mario, and, and see where you go with this. Sure. You had said, and I brought it up in the, the second part of the show, too. Um, you know, you said there were there were nights that you'd go to bed and not care if you woke up. You didn't care if you lived or died. Right. Well, why then did you actually make the decision to not die? I, um, because I, I you know, I, I was a, I was a, I'm a young guy, you know, we we only have one time around in this world, and um, how old are you now, if I may ask? I'm I'm 29. Wow. Okay. 29. Um, so so now, like I I, you know, I'm a young person, and and like I said, we only have one time around in this world, and it's life's such a supposed to be just such a beautiful thing, you know. We're supposed to enjoy life, and and. And enjoy ourselves, and and that and that's what it's all about is is having having a fulfilling fulfilling life, you know, a quality filled life, and um. So so I, I you know my once I started once I seen that I I could make the, the improvements in myself. Not only was it externally but internally, you know, things started to shift. Things started to change my way of thinking was different as I started this program so you know like I said once I committed 100% to this you, you had know, hope <laughs> yeah my, my my thinking was everything started to change as I was doing it you know it was like okay well, you know every, day one okay it's done I did it you know next day so you you, you, you start thinking different as as you're as you're doing things like this, like making making a change in your life. So like when you that. change the way you look at things, the things you look at start changing. Exactly, exactly. So um, so go go on now. Now you've got the P90X. You started doing it. Your father's your more or less accountability coach. You know, yeah. um, I guess it was good that he was a marine. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> he made sure every day. He was helping. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Tear. Oh. Oh no. Oh, okay, I was going to say so he's helping you eat right. He's, you know, he's pushing you, he's holding you accountable and uh let's move ahead say 2 weeks into your program into the P90X and and the diet and the eating correctly. And when mm-hmm. I say diet, I don't mean like not eating, I mean eating correctly. Where are you internally now? 2 3 weeks in. 2 3 weeks in, I was uh I was starting to really feel good. Mm-hmm. And uh, and it was like I was like 
oh my god I you know I, I I'm doing this I'm actually I'm actually doing this I I I couldn't believe that I was sticking to something you know mm-hmm. and it was like wow and I and, and I started to f- started to feel like three weeks in I started to feel good I was like wow things started to change like my you know I, I think the first week I actually lost 10 pounds mm-hmm. um so I I think by the second or third week I was down I was probably down 15 pounds like so that helped me weight you know weighing myself and stuff and and seeing the improvements so but I like I you know internally I'm like I I, I can I can do this I, I I can do it you know and I know I didn't really look I took everything a day at a time mm-hmm. I didn't look you know you know 90 days ahead or whatever I, I looked at every day if, if today I know today if I wake up you know I, I work out I eat right I'm I'm I, I'm gonna better myself today and I would just do that every single day and um, I, I like how you say that um, I, I heard a gentleman say this one time he goes every day is when I have to do something he said, you know, I can eat right on Monday and I can exercise on Monday, but that doesn't mean I'm going to be healthy on Tuesday. On right. Tuesday, I have to eat right and exercise again. Yep. You know, the same thing, you know, you take a shower on Monday. You're not going to stay clean on Tuesday from the shower you took on Monday. <laughs> right. You got to take another right. shower on Tuesday. Yeah. So is, yeah. is that kind of what you're what you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. And and um, and so so I started getting started feeling good. Like I'm like, wow, you know, I started feeling good about myself and because you know i started having these you know losing 15 pounds in a few weeks and stuff and quick disclaimer results may vary okay go yeah. ahead. <laughs> <laughs> that comes on the box too <laughs> <laughs> so um so yeah I, I internally i everything you know i just started feeling good like and people noticed people noticed me like i, I remember my grandmother one time she goes what are you you're losing weight. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm doing this this P90X thing. She don't know what it is. You know, it's some mm-hmm. crazy infomercial thing. <laughs> and uh, so, and, and people started to notice, you know, and um, and and that made me feel good when people started saying, "Wow, you, you look good. What are you, are you doing? Something different? What are you doing? You know?" Mm-hmm. And uh, your before and after pictures. You do not look the same at all. Not even in your face. You don't look like the same person Spe- at all. Speaking of pictures on the radio, um, Terry had just told me that now this show is going to be on YouTube now. Yes, it will be. So as soon as the show airs on 94.3 FM The Talker, it goes right up on YouTube? Yes. Wow. You're so awesome. you can hear like the story really and famous. you can see Mario. And you're going to put some pictures of Mario up Absolutely. on the... Absolutely. Oh, that's uh, awesome, man. Awesome. <laughs> cool. So continue, please. I'm, I'm like enthralled with this story. This is awesome. <laughs> um... Speaking of your grandmother, you said anyone can do this program because when I met you, and even in our interview that we talked yesterday, I may have gotten my weight down, but basically I'm lazy, so I don't have the strength. I don't have the endurance. So this program is not just for people who want to lose weight if you want to feel good, period. Right? right. And yeah. you've got your grandmother at 72. Could you want to tell us that story? Yeah, that's that's one of my um She did it. My my favorite stories. Um she she actually she she didn't do our program but she did um she was drinking one of our our um the shakeology and um and she's 72 years old, okay? And she went she did all every every diet under the sun that you can think of i mean she's been on a diet i can remember since i was a little kid i i just all all the time and she always struggled with certain things so you know as you get older and woman and and you know it's hard to so and i remember she 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 told me she did this body sculpting thing and, and paid thousands of dollars and 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 didn't work of course and um so she she actually she asked me she goes i know you're you're this you're a fitness coach and health and what can you do for me i said um i said well i'll tell you what you're gonna do you're gonna drink uh a shake a day one of our shake allergies um every single day just use it you know mix it for use it for breakfast or lunch whatever you know replace a meal after the first month 
she lost seven pounds. Wow. Seven pounds. She started going back to the gym because she has like her little weight loss club. All, mm-hmm. all the old ladies go six <laughs> o'clock in the morning, three <laughs> times a week. Wow. 72 years old. <laughs> after after six months, she's, she was down over 20 pounds, 72 years old. Didn't wow. you get your mom to do this too? Yeah, my mom. My mom. She's she's been doing programs. Um, she recently actually um, lost thirteen pounds um, in a in the last this past month. Actually, that's wonderful. Yeah. So, so it, t- and all, you finished P ninety X. And what was going through your mind when you were all done? When I was all done, I, the the f- I was a completely different person. I. I think I lost 45 pounds the first round, 45 or 50 pounds, something like that, like the first round. Mm-hmm. And it to to finish that was was like I I never you know was amazing to me. It was like I can't believe that I actually did that, you mm-hmm. know. And even when you were sick, because your dad, you were sick, and your dad said to you, he couldn't believe you were going to do that workout. Yeah, I I I got sick through during it, mm. and no I was, excuses. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. I I had like I had the flu. Like I was, I was in bed. My dad had to come and just give me Gatorade. I I couldn't get out of bed. Like it was bad. Mm-hmm. And I'm like all day. I'm like, oh my god, I I have to work out today. I have to work out. There's no. I I said to myself, there is no excuses, none. And wow, Powerful. and. I remember that night I tried to, uh, I had a uh, bagel and um, just try to put something in my body, which I, I got, I was sick, but I, I did the workout. I did it. I said, because I said to myself, <laughs> no matter what, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do this. And so, so yeah, there are no excuses when it, when it comes to something like this. You know, Mario, when I ask you about strength building, or why you even did it, you said, what is the reason that you have to do this? If it's for just a bikini out on a beach, that's not a good enough reason, really. It has to be stronger than that. So maybe that's where we're losing. We think, oh, summer's coming, I wanna get in that bathing suit. It's only temporary, right? Exactly. When, when, when you're going to, if you wanna to make a, a change in your life, you, obviously you, got, you have to change in order for things to change. and. It, like if if you like I like a lot of people want to lose weight like I said for the summer um you know I want I want I want to get in a bikini or I just I want to get a six pack abs I just I just want them well it's got to it, that's not that's not good enough you need something more than that maybe that's why we're losing out when we have that mental thought yeah we can't do it it won't work it, it has to be more you think th- like the will to live it yes. has to be stronger than that because it has to be a lifetime change. It just can't be for the 90 days. That's not the end of it. Right. Exactly. Exactly. You want to, you have to have a reason why that has emotion wrapped around it. It has to be really, you really have to sit and think about it because if you're going to go and, and do something, it's good. It. It, you know, it's going to take, it's going to, it's going to be hard. It's going to be a change. You're going to, you know, there's going to be excuses. You're going to have cravings for this and that, and and and, and it's it's really it's hard. Like I, today, I still struggle with that. But your reason why has to be deep inside of you. Why you're doing it, it has to have emotion wrapped around it, or else you're. If you don't have you know have a powerful why, like I just want to get a six pack. Well, when you start going to the gym after week one, after week two. You know, if you if you might say I, ah, you know, it's it's well, six middle, pack's not that important. Yeah, it's middle of February. It's snowing. It's sleet. <laughs> I'm not going. You know, so it has to be really strong. It has to be, you know, something deep inside of you that because that's what carries you through the the hard times when the excuses come in when you have no time and and you're tired, you're dead tired and and things like that. You you need that. That is that's so crucial when you're when you're trying to make a change in your life like that it sounds like you have to hit a rock bottom before you can actually climb out of the hole that you dug yeah yeah you- i don't know i'm completely lazy i feel <laughs> i have hit rock bottom and i cannot make myself 
get into an exercise program. I'll do it for a couple days. And I want it. I've wanted it forever. But I, I just... And I felt I've hit rock bottom. But mm-hmm. it didn't, how do it didn't you know, motivate me How enough. do you know when you've hit rock bottom? When you're sick and when you've changed... Like, I have changed everything that I could that I knew of in my life and my diet and the water and reading and everything that there is. But the one thing that I'm always lacking is exercise. Yeah. And... My, we already had a gym downstairs, and I've done what you said. I have gone to, my husband got me all these gifts for working out in the gym, really supportive, and I just wasn't supportive of myself. I think that's where a lot of people are. They just can't seem to get there. And that's when you hit rock bottom, is when you stop digging. Yeah. Yeah. You're there. Yeah. That's it. I thought that I was, but it didn't happen. <laughs> and on that note, we're going to take one more break. When we come back, you got to hear what Mario's doing with his life today. You just, you, you might benefit from this rock bottom girl. And <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> this is Make a Change on 94.3 FM, The Talker. I'm Tom Jenkins, along with your host, Terry Martin, our guest. Is it Mario or Mario? Mario. Mario. Did I say Mario? I've probably said it. Well, some play, people Playing Nintendo. That's my age right there. <laughs> and we'll be right back. Stick around. Madari Clinicals, a unique skin care company has a complete skincare line for men and women. From anti-aging to glycolic and even a clinical line for sensitive skin, Madari Clinicals is for you. Their number one product? Forgiveness. It's the secret to younger looking and younger acting skin. You can experience the transformation with fewer wrinkles, firmer skin, and a more youthful radiant complexion. Treat aging, sun damage, rosacea, and more with forgiveness. Plus, buy one bottle of forgiveness, get one lip-enhancing complex for free. Forgiveness. Apply it morning and night and keep forgiving and forgetting all through the day. Make a change with Madari Clinicals. Balance. Restore. Look and feel new. Madari Clinicals, a complete skincare company for men and women. Call 866-646-3374 or check out MadariClinicals.com. M-E-D-E-R-I clinicals.com. Welcome back to Make a Change on 94.3 FM The Talker. I am Tom Jenkins along with your host Terry Martin. The show's all about making changes and today is a phenomenal phenomenal show with our guest uh, Mario Johns who has <laughs> made a humongous change in his life uh, from being very overweight, very depressed, uh, just more or less isolated and all choices that he made and then uh, had to make the right choice uh, to turn his life back around. And again, I'm looking at you, dude. And I'm like, <laughs> I cannot imagine you in that life. Yeah. Now, you had a carpenter job back then. You yes. were in college. Uh, you've lost, obviously, how much weight? I lost I lost 120 pounds altogether. Wow. Okay. Uh, and how long ago was this? That was, that was, let's see, that I, about a little over three years ago. What are you doing today to maintain this? Today, I, I, I still exercise. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it kind of became part of my life, the exercise and and the, the eating right. And I, I just, you know, I start, I, today I eat healthy. Um, I exercise. But um, the one, one thing that, that's really, really helping me is helping other people. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm a Team Beach Body coach, so I... I'm what, helping. Is, what is that? What is Team Beach Body Coach? What is that? Um, we're, we're Team Beach Body is the company that that makes that creates all the all the you know P ninety X Insanity all those okay. all those programs, and so I, I'm a coach for the company to so when someone orders that they you know they you need a you need a coach to to do these programs. You had one. You yeah, had your absolutely. dad. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So you you need someone who who is who's done it before, and and knows what it takes to get to the point where you want to get. Okay. So so. Oh, just plus you met someone in Connecticut, and when they saw you and how fabulous you looked, and they heard your story, they're the ones who, what really pushed you and yeah. promoted you and. Yeah, I I met um, uh, her name's Denise, and she. She's from Boston. We met at a, in in Connecticut at a, it was a Tony Horton um, workout, which mm-hmm. he was the creator of P ninety X, and um, and you know we got to talking and you know showing our pictures and we you know how you know my transformation and stuff and and she goes, you ever think about 
being a coach and I'm like no I what, what is it you know and I never knew what it was and and she she told me it's helping other people doing all these programs help coaching them through it um we have you know like online support groups and I'm thinking yeah because I I mean if I found like if someone said oh I'm doing that P90X and I'd be like Yo, make make sure I you know call me if you need have questions or anything like that. So what is your phone number? Or you have now a website? <laughs> nice segue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my yeah my my phone number it's five seven zero eight seven seven four one seven zero, and I do have a, a website. It's www.mariojohns.com, M A R I O J O H N S. Um, and and so so now so so she so I became a coach and um, wasn't really sure you know what I was doing and um, it was really just about I just helping people doing these programs and it's and it's 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 so cool to see to see other people doing these now it's like like because I, I truly believe like the, my transformation what the there's a reason why. And I, I feel now I have a responsibility to help other people because I truly live by it. If you help other people get what they want, you'll have everything you want. I mean, that I truly live by that. So I it, I can't even describe the feeling to help to help somebody else to to that are doing these programs or that are struggling through and and you know making their way through these programs and and to see the difference in them because it's it's not just it's not just like i said your body it's your whole life it completely mm-hmm. changed ed- everything in your life i mean it your whole life's different the way you think i mean looking back i would never be on this radio show right now if it wasn't for this program i mean it brought me to so many uh, different opportunities. It's I, I wouldn't talk to anybody back then, so it completely changed my whole life. And to see other people do that is that that's a priceless feeling. I mean, you you can't pay for that feeling to see other people do these programs, change your lives. Like my grandma, like how she lost. She, she I picked her up from church because we're we're blackjack partners. Once a month, we, <laughs> <laughs> we go to the casino, so. I pick her up. I open the door for her. She's getting in my truck, and she she grabbed me by the arm. She goes, "Everybody's telling me how wonderful I look." Oh. I'm like, "Oh my god!" She's like, "Thank you so much," mm-hmm. and I, I almost started to cry. I'm like, "Oh my god!" You know, but that's 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 what it's about is to is seeing these these. I mean, help my own family and and other people. It's it's crazy because it's. You start when you could feel good about yourself, and you could wake up every day, look at yourself in the mirror, and smile at what's looking back. I mean, that's beautiful. That is, that's beautiful. You know that that that's priceless. That is priceless to be comfortable with yourself. So so it, it's 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 a passion of mine to to help these people because you're gonna need help. I needed help. My thank God, my dad was there for me. Because he really, he really held me accountable, and and so that's part of what I do as a coach is is hold people accountable. Because you're gonna decide to make a decision, and I want you to succeed. You will succeed as long as you you know commit and and but you need that person right there every day because you're gonna want to quit. But I'm not gonna let you. <laughs> well, Mario, if clubs or groups wanted you to come in and speak. Would you do that? Absolutely. They, so they could contact you for that. Yeah, absolutely. I lo- I love to to. Tom. I actually vision myself um, a long time ago to to speak about my story and and just just to help inspire just to help inspire other people because when you're living like that when you're not happy with yourself you're just not happy every day it. Life's so much better now. Like I'm living it now. Or I'm I'm traveling. I I traveled, I think ten times in the past year. It's like just doing. I mean, because your whole life will change just from from that. Not just your body, but everything will change, which is beautiful. Tom, I have to tell you something. Uh oh. Last night in the interview, because he is so exciting to talk to. Mm-hmm. I'm sure he didn't even see this coming on him. I said, do you think this could help me? 
And, you know, is it for just anybody? So as we got talking, he had me so inspired. I signed up and I wasn't going to tell anyone. <laughs> but now that I said it on well, air, so now you have to, now now I have you're to do it. Now I'm you're accountable. accountable. <laughs> and I knew with someone like him, I will make it. And Mario's going to be your coach? Mario is yep. going to be my coach. We got it. All right. I, I'm going to call you out and hold you accountable right now, Terry. You will be. Everyone will 90 be. 90 days. Yes. Let's get Mario back and give a testimonial on how well you did. Whether you fell off the wagon after three days. <laughs> yeah. Or if you made it all the way through and what you're actually doing. Is well, that, what how's he, that for a commi- the, co- commitment? That's how it is. I'm afraid to do that, but it's a must. Yep. I, I realized that unless I wasn't even going to tell my husband or anyone, I was just going to do it sneaky on the side and just see if anyone noticed. Yeah. But you that know way you what? don't feel bad when you when you do fall off. That's right. Yep. And that is exactly right. I, I can't say I'm going to try this. I did that when I'm I was quitting smoking. Yeah. When I quit smoking, I, I made sure I had to tell everybody. Yep. Mar- Mario uh, quit smoking too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, he, that's just yeah. another, I, yeah. It's, life is so wonderful. Yeah, and I want the excitement that you have. I feel I'm excited in life, but I don't have that glow you have. And I don't have the energy you have. And even though you're a lot younger. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. we have a few minutes left. If I were to, uh, let's let's say uh, I want to make this change. Mm-hmm. What do I need to do? What are my first steps? How do I get a hold of you? How, wh- I mean, what are the steps I have to take to make this change in my life? I would, I, you definitely either call me or, or go to my website and I, can I leave my email? Sure. You it's, can. Uh, my email's mariojohns at ymail.com. Okay. Um, and what's your webpage again? My webpage is www.mariojohns.com. And your phone number? My phone number is 570-877-4170. Okay. And, and yeah, definitely contact me and, and. I want to see why you're going to you're going to do this and make sure I set you up with something that that is, you know, for you, you know, because we're all different and there's Mm -hmm. different programs. But I want to make sure because I don't want to set anybody up to fail. I don't want someone just to to get a program and 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 not do it. I want to. It's more than that. I want to see you actually ch- change your life, mm-hmm. you know? So, so anybody can contact me and, and even call or, or what, you know, I, 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 I love to talk to people. I want to talk to people about this because it's just, it's just a passion of mine. And, and I, I know, I know we, we can do this t- together, you know? You know, I believe, as I said in my other shows, that God always sends someone when you need it, when you need the help, And that's what I think happened when I saw you, Mario. And I do see that for anyone listening, the helper is here. Very (laughs) exciting to be able to even see someone that did this. Yeah. Whoever would have ever thought a two in the morning infomercial would. (laughs) I, I, I know my, you know, and it. that's what I, I mean, I saw that for years. And then once I saw, you know, like my dad and I, so I call I call P ninety X. It's a two a.m. infomercial that completely changed my life, you know. And uh, yeah, who would think this crazy, you know, home fitness workout, you know? But it you, 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 it it works, you know. It works if you work it. So seeing is believing. Yeah, yeah. One more time. How do people get a hold of you? Uh, my phone number is five seven zero eight seven seven four one seven zero. And my my website is www.mariojohns.com, and my email is mariojohns at ymail.com. 30 seconds. Any any other inspirational, anything else you would like to add? What did I forget to ask you? Um, I just want to, I just want to let people listen in, um, that y- y- you can do it if, if you want to do it. You, you, you can do it. It's possible. No matter what other people may say or, or you just just know that you can you can do it you can you can make a change in your life and and live a happy and fulfilling life and and just just know that you you can do it if i if i could do it you can do it 
Mara, thank you so much for being on the show today. Thank you so much. Very yes, inspirational. Thank you. And, uh, and thank you very much for listening. This is Make a Change. I'm Tom Jenkins with your host, Terry Martin, our special guest, Mario Johns, in the studio today. Any questions, of course, you can get a hold of Terry at 866-646-3374. Check out MadariClinicals.com. Uh, check that out anyway so you can find out how to actually watch this show on YouTube, on YouTube. later on. Um, and uh, talk to you again next week. Thank you again so much for listening to Make a Change on 94.3 FM, The Talker. See you. The new Radio Bold app for iPhone and Android. Download it now and hear all of your favorite stations and formats. Rock. Country. Classic hits. Top 40. News. Sports. Look back into the station playlist. Play videos of your favorite songs. Get artist bios, album artwork, song lyrics. Share station and artist information with your friends. Have it all in the palm of your hands. The biggest thing to happen in radio. Well, since radio. Learn more at RadioBold.com.